Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com. You know, I've been getting a lot of requests in light of current events to do something with Ukrainian music or Ukrainian musicians. And to be honest with you, I have been hesitant. And the reason I've been hesitant isn't because there isn't wonderful Ukrainian music and wonderful Ukrainian artists. It's because I do not want to attach this channel to current events. I want to make videos simply about wonderful music and why you should be listening to it. And that's it. But I really do think it would not do any harm, certainly, to talk about some really fine Ukrainian composers. And one of them is Boris Lyatushinsky. Lyatushinsky was the father of 20th century Ukrainian music. He was born in 1895 and died in 1968. He wrote five symphonies and a bunch of other orchestral pieces. He was very talented. He was a very, very good composer, a wonderful, solid composer who's very enjoyable to listen to. And so I'm going to maybe do a little series on Lyatushinsky. At least I'm going to introduce this, and we'll see what the interest is. And if there really is interest, we'll do more. And we'll talk about some other Ukrainian composers, too, because they're just great composers. Not because they're Ukrainian, but because they're great composers. I did a a talk already on Dmitry Klebanov, whose two string quartets and the second piano trio recently appeared on Chandos. Go listen to the video. It's very good music. It deserves your support because it's also part of a very fine series of very interesting music. So I think that without further ado, let's talk about the first symphony of Lyatushinsky. It's on this disc featuring the Ukrainian State Symphony Orchestra under Theodore Kuchar who's a wonderful conductor. I mean, I've been praising Kuchar to the skies. If you care about Ukrainian artists, do a little search in my own page. Look up Kuchar. There's all kinds of good stuff that he's done. He's a wonderful conductor, and he's played terrific music, and he's done wonderful things for Ukrainian music, including Lyatoshinsky. Now, Lyatoshinsky's first was written right at the time of the Russian Revolution. And at that point, he was only in his, his, you know, 20s. He was a young composer who was very much under the influence of, you know, the Russian romantics, Tchaikovsky, Rachmaninoff, to some extent Wagner. Also, uh, the booklet notes mention Scriabin, which I think you can hear. The work is in three movements. It's 37 minutes long, and it has all the romantic excess of youth. Not, not you know, including the fact that it sort of like repeats things. Remember we talked about composers with a, not such a good sense of timing? I wouldn't say he has a bad sense of timing, but he does, he's very generous with repeating his material and saying things at length. His later works are far more concise. They really are, and you can, you can hear him mature as a composer. But this piece is a lot of fun. It's just a big, bold, romantic, heaving, surging mass. And I want to play you the ending because you'll get such a sense of it just from the ending. It's one of those big, grand perorations with, you know, all kinds of, you know, brass and percussion and, you know, all that folder all going off. And it's tons of fun. Here it is. <laughs>
Now, don't you want to hear the rest of it? It's good music. It's fun music. If you don't like romantic excess, you're not going to like it. But if you can be a little indulgent and enjoy some, you know, serious romantic excess, you're going to like this. And it's quite, it's quite fine. Quite, quite fine. The other thing on the disc is a tone poem called, called Grajina. And Grajina is an epic poem. And let's see, it's by it's by the Polish poet, uh, the Polish poet, Adam, uh, yes, Adam, Adam Mickiewicz. And Adam Mickiewicz was a wonderful poet, I gather. And this is sort of this epic poem about a Lithuanian warrior princess who gets killed by the Germans. Eventually, she leads a rebellion. And actually, the story of this is all too topical, given uh, the current circumstances out there in the world. It is a beautiful work. It was composed in 1955. It's formally compact. It's 19 minutes long, but I mean, it has a form, a uh, form that makes sense. And what I find so beautiful about it isn't the noise and hysteria, of which there's quite a bit because it has a huge battle scene and all this other stuff. It's the opening and the conclusion. It has that, a, a sense of that, you know, Pimmin scene in Boris Gudunov for the second movement of Das Lied von der Erde with the wandering string theme going through it. It's really quite extraordinary, and I want to play it for you. The first couple of minutes of this piece is, is just memorable, and it really sets the stage for the, the grim, you know, struggle that, that to come, and I, I, I just love it. I really do, and I, I urge you to listen to it because it's, it's incredibly moving and beautiful music. Here it is.
That was the opening of Grazina, the tone poem by um, Boris Lyatoshinsky. And it was played by Theodore Kuchar conducting the Ukrainian State Symphony Orchestra. Now, this was originally a Marco Polo disc. And, you know, it's been reissued on Naxos along with the other Lyatoshinsky symphonies. And they're worth collecting. You can get the whole thing on series on three discs. And, and it's a wonderful way to start collecting Lyatoshinsky, who's a composer well worth knowing, or Ukrainian music, if that's where you happen to be at this moment in time. However you slice it, it's just good music. So keep on listening, folks. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care.